Ryan, do you have any comments on the Nazi presence at your protest? Yeah, I don't like Nazis. Meet Jordan Peterson. Two years ago, he was an unknown psychology professor at the University of Toronto. But today, he's been called the most influential public intellectual in the Western world. So how did all this come about? It started when Canada proposed a new transgender rights law. I sat down with Dr. Peterson. I opposed a bill in Canada that made use of people's preferred pronouns mandatory by law. Right. And no, that's not acceptable. Why do you care what they call themselves? Like, like I don't care. Yeah, you don't. I care when people tell me what I have to say. Peterson said it was about free speech, but students didn't buy it. So they protested his classes, called him a Nazi, and labeled him transphobic. Transphobic piece of shit! Transphobic piece of shit! The trans issue is like almost beside the point as far as I'm concerned. I think that if that would have been the only issue, then the furor surrounding what I said would have died away in 15 minutes. Do you think with what people call you, you shouldn't use the word furor so much? Furor? <laughs> so Peterson started posting YouTube videos railing against political correctness. It's absolutely pathetic. And conservatives ate that shit up. One and a half million hits later, this has become a huge issue. Jordan Peterson, it's hard to express my gratitude uh, to you for telling the truth as you do. Now, unfortunately for Peterson, people who hate Jews or march with tiki torches also tend to dislike political correctness. Hate groups like the alt-right became some of his biggest fans. Do you think that hate speech should be free speech as well? Yes, Okay. Uh, because the, the issue is who defines hate speech? He has disavowed violence at his events, but strangely, he just can't seem to strongly disavow the groups themselves. The alt-right, neo-Nazis, KKK, how do you feel about these people? Um, I generally don't invite them to my parties. Right. <laughs> Looks to me like Peterson and the alt-right aren't f***ing, ah, but he doesn't mind flirting a bit. <laughs> And he also seems to enjoy being a bit provocative. I don't really think of it as delivering a lecture to an audience. The closest thing, really, that it compares to is probably stand-up comedy. It's something I really admire about comedians, too, is that they'll, they'll take that risk. Yeah. And this is something I like about, about Sarah Silverman, for example, is she will say anything if she thinks it's funny. Some comics do props, some do puppets. Peterson does psychosocial analysis in the character of a 1950s dad. College students, the postmodern types, they're so ungrateful. You can't force me to respect you, it's just not possible. I am not going to be a mouthpiece for language that I detest. I don't think that men can control crazy women. Well, women are much unhappier than they were, say, in the late 1950s and early 1960s. Hilarious. <laughs> it's like stand-up, but instead of laughs, it creates liberal outrage especially on college campuses. We quite successfully shut down their panel event. Meet Christine Elizabeth. She's led a series of protests against Peterson. And the goal isn't just to voice an opinion, it's to censor Peterson completely. They use air horns. They set up PA systems with white noise. But also... Why does the noise have to be white? <laughs> Don't you feel that like shutting down a panel like that, even if the things that are being said are horrendous, is stifling free speech in any way? No, yeah. I'm exercising my right to use free speech to criticize them. So to break this ridiculous cycle, someone's got to give. Peterson doesn't like being told what to do, so I tried giving a different example to see if he can bend. Making people bake a cake for a gay wedding. Making them do it? Yeah. I don't think that's a very good idea. But here's the argument, so should they be able to deny making a cake for a black couple if they don't like black people? Allowed to? Probably. That doesn't mean it's right. Okay, so then we had the civil rights movement yep. where they said black people, you had to serve them in your restaurants and yep. stuff like that, and it did work and it did make our society better, but would yep. you argue that that still wasn't right? No, that was right. Why, why is that different to now if you didn't want to make a cake for black, black people? Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not different. Yeah. Maybe I was wrong about that.